Hello everyone, how are you doing today? I'm here with a, another video and in today's video I have an old or pretty much that is still good an HP Pavilion DV6000 and if you have this old laptop and you want to make it faster or add an extra RAM and this video is for you so pretty much this laptop usually comes with a 2 gig RAM stick but you can actually upgrade to 4 up to 8 gig with no problem the tools that you will need it's an opening tool or a screwdriver set i use the ifixit tool set these are one of the best tool set that they have in the market right now and they come with all the bits that you need for any laptop or cell phone in this particular one we're going to be using bit number zero phillips and so let's get into it first thing first you want to flip over your laptop and you want to remove the battery by pulling this trigger to one side and holding it and the battery will pop out a little bit and just lift it up twist it remove next the, you want to remove the mid cover here this is called a service cover these are labeled actually with a uh, memory ram sticks right here so you want to loosen up these two screws the screws have a c-lock on them so it will not let uh, to prevent the screws coming up and getting lost so pretty much you have to just rotate and then you really click and then you want to let go do the other one that's it now next you want to lift it up from here and you have to pull it up really hard to let go of these clips on the sides so pretty much just yank it up now once you remove it you're gonna see the ram right in front of you there's a two ram dim on top one on top of each other to remove the ram you have to pull these two triggers that are beside the ram apart so just put your fingers beside it and pull them apart and the ram will come out in 45 degree angle just like this and what you want to do just grab it from the middle and pull it back for uh, that your ram will come out just like that if you want to pull the other dim out Again, there's another two triggers for the other one. Pull it apart and the ram should come out automatically in 45 degree angle. To remove it, just grab it from the side or the middle and pull it out in the same direction. Do not yank it upward, otherwise you're gonna break the contacts or you're gonna damage the ram. Again, these are the DDR2 RAM. So you can grab, I'll leave the link in the description for another two gig or four gig sticks and that are compatible with this one let's say that you got the new ram in you want to make sure the notch in the ram which is right over here this gap right here has to match the gap right on the ram dim right there and right here on each one of them there's a little gap there notch so you want to align it right there and you want to bring it down in the same 45 degree angle the same angle that you removed push it all the way to the contact really hard and then you want to push it towards the motherboard you see that little bit opening right there that's fine as long as when you push it towards the motherboard these clips they have to uh, click look listen like that and when you see this uh, triggers straight that means your ram is in place for the second ram dim same thing just grab it put it in a 45 degree angle push it all the way in and push it towards the triggers and that's it if your ram triggers they stay a little bit open let's say if i put it a little bit halfway through and i push it down actually it's really hard to go in because it's not actually sliding down on the triggers let's open the triggers and if i put it down look how it stays it stays very really bad so make sure it goes all the way in evenly towards the motherboard just like that. next you want to grab the service cover there's a little dent right here this hand just right here has to go on the bottom so put the back end where there's no screws right there slide it there and then bring halfway through press these corners and now the last thing will be to screw down the screws right here and I hope this video helped you guys out. And if it did, click that thumbs up button. And if you guys subscribe, it really helps and motivates me to take requests and I answer all your questions. 
And again, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in my next video.